Hello friends, good morning. I'm in Seattle. This is cute little Coco. But I'm getting ready to leave the house. I thought I'd film a quick little 15 minute get ready with me. This is kind of like my everyday makeup and this is my little travel bag. So a couple of new makeup things that I've been loving, some staples that I always like to bring with me and I have a little skin prep that I'm gonna share with you as well. So I'm really excited. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Ula Henriksen for sponsoring a part of this video. This is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. So I actually had this moisturizer with me in New York and I've been testing it and I really enjoy it. You guys know I have really sensitive skin. Literally just last week, I broke out in a rash and I had to take off all of my necklaces. I had to go through like a big purge and really simplify my routine. So I went back to this one and this is just a really simple moisturizer that is ultra hydrating. And in the summertime, my skin sometimes still feels dehydrated and I feel like prepping my skin just allows my makeup to last longer. It makes my skin look better. And I've always said skin first, makeup second so we're gonna go in and prep the skin i also just got a little haircut so i'll show you guys afterwards how i style my hair and it's actually will be the first time styling it since i've got it cut i feel like that's always the real test so going in with this moisturizer it's kind of like a jelly texture like when i first touched it i was like really surprised it kind of like feels really dense so i kind of just grab some pieces with my nail and you can see right here like the texture is very like jelly but once you rub it into your skin it really helps to melt in and feels so hydrating nourishing i also love that this moisturizer is formulated with peptides and lots of ingredients to help strengthen your skin barrier if you have sensitive skin like me i feel like this is a very important part that you need to do especially because you always want to make sure that you have strong skin you know a good base for everything else so i'm just gonna pick up a little bit more add some to my forehead and like i said i have really oily acne prone skin but i think if you have dry or normal skin you would really really like this you can just keep adding a couple more layers but i think that for me is perfect the weather is actually cooling down a little bit in seattle it's a little bit colder than it was in la so i actually can go in with a little bit more of this moisturizer but you can see it just makes my skin feel so good healthy moisturized and i had a facial done a couple of weeks ago while i was in new york and i learned this facial massage technique that i thought it'd be fun to share with you guys so if you have a little bit of extra time in the mornings highly recommend doing this because it helps to kind of like increase circulation to your face it helps to kind of de-stress and almost like release any like tension that you have in your face sometimes i just feel like my head feels really tense from all the stress in the day, from lack of sleep, whatever. So this is a great little facial massage that I learned that I started doing and I feel like it's kind of like a relaxing part of the routine. So I'll just add a little bit more of that moisturizer, especially to that cheek area, but it just kind of helps your fingers to glide on your face for the facial massage. And what I'll do is I'll take my knuckles, and I'll kind of drag like between right there, on my under my cheekbone. And then one knuckle like above my cheekbone, like where my highlight would typically go. And you kind of just drag it across all the way up to your hairline. Sometimes I'll just do this to Brandon, like if he's just sitting there and his face is like so glowy. I'll just take my knuckles and help massage the face and it just feels so relaxing. And then down here what I'll do is I'll kind of like drag one knuckle, same area. And then the other knuckle will be kind of like hugging the jawline. so relaxing and again just dragging it like all the way back like that and then up here you can kind of just take one of the knuckles and drag along your hairline kind of pull back into your temple areas and then what you want to do is drag some of the moisturizer down your neck as well you don't want to forget that area my skin has been so like extra sensitive lately so i just want to make sure we're moisturizing, strengthening that skin barrier. Okay, skin feels really healthy, prepped, and I'm gonna go in with some SPF and I'll be right back. Done prepping my skin, I went ahead and curled my eyelashes just to 
quicken the process, but you always want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen every day, okay? First thing I go in with is this Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara, and this is like the best waterproof mascara of all time. I'm also originally from Seattle, so I am back home visiting my family. I was debating whether or not I wanted to stay in New York for New York Fashion Week, but Brian and I were there for the whole month. I feel like we did our time over there, and I just wanted to come home and have like a little bit of a relaxing week. And we actually go to Italy in a couple of weeks so we are looking forward to that and kind of planning that trip today I'm actually going to Pike Place with my sister we're gonna do some fun exploring Seattle things I've obviously been many times and I do have a top 10 video about my favorite things to do in Seattle where to shop you know some of my favorite areas that I'll link in the corner if you haven't seen it yet and then later tonight we're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna take the dogs to this dog park that they love and then I'm gonna see some of my friends later tonight and then I'm gonna go in with this Dr. Jart BB cream and I've been really enjoying this. I feel like it gives a pretty natural finish but it's easy to blend. It gives like good coverage too. So I'm blending this out with a it Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. I really like this brush because it's so fluffy, but I've been liking foundation brushes because it just makes everything so quick and easy. And I'll drag some of the BB cream like under my eyes as well. Then going in with a sponge just to blend out any of those lines. I feel like sometimes brushes can leave brush strokes. I want it to look as natural as possible. Next, I only packed two concealers with me and this is my first time trying the Honest Beauty concealer. Hopefully it's nice because this is literally the only thing I packed. Okay. So I feel like I needed just a little bit extra coverage where I had some redness. And then we'll just do so in the spot concealing as well. Usually I haven't been adding any, but some days you just need the extra help, you know? Finishing up the eyes with this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's been years since I used this and this wand is so nostalgic for me because this is all I used to use in like middle school, high school. The only thing with this brush is I feel like it sometimes can get a little clumpy. I have this little spoolie to help declump. Then going in with my sponge, just quickly blending out concealer. And then I'm actually gonna go in with that same It Cosmetics foundation brush and use the other side to help buff out any of the concealer and it just helps to make sure we have a really thin layer so it doesn't crease. Wiping off some of the foundation on my lips and then I'm just gonna go in with some of this Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Lip Gloss. I love this. This is like lightly tinted and it's what I packed with me to New York. But I'll do a thin layer because it helps to moisturize my lips and also prep it for lipstick later. Base is done. I'm just going to apply a little bit of cream blush. This is the Euphoria Color Changing Blush because it's green when you first have it. And it kind of turns like this pinky color. But on an everyday basis, I just have been doing literally this. I'll lightly powder my face and then I'm done. And it's just like the easiest, quick makeup that looks still really photogenic and fresh. And I feel like because we did prep our skin so well, it's gonna last all day in my skin. I feel like I don't have to do that much work because the base looks so good, you know? Now setting the face. I've been using this powder from Givenchy. It comes with a little powder puff. You can see it has like four different colors in here, but it helps to color correct and help brighten. And I've been setting my makeup with like the pink version of this. It really helps to brighten, but sometimes I feel like it turns my base like too pink. So I've been using this like bluey purple one. So far so good. Okay, then this is key if you want a base that looks really natural. I'll take a foundation powder and go ahead and just buff away any of that extra powder. And sometimes the translucent powders can leave a little bit of a like white cast and this just helps prevent that. Then going in with a brow gel that I've been using for like a month straight. I got my brows nanobladed back in December. And so they're pretty filled in now. All I need is just a little bit of a gel just to darken them up and kind of lay the brows. And then near the front, I'll kind of like brush the hairs up a little bit. Then finishing up with a little bit of a lip liner. This is Rare Beauty. And an Ilia lip balm. I'll go ahead and link all the products down below. 
So this is the finished look. Skin looks super fresh. Nothing crazy and this is just like a really great everyday makeup look. Then I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair and then I got to run out. Okay, so you can see my hair is a little bit shorter and I have a little bit of a bang moment. So I'm going to curl my hair first and show you guys how I do my bangs. But pretty much what I do is I have my T3 curler and I'll grab like little sections and I'll just alternate which way I'm spinning it. And as I get to the end, I kind of like loosen it up and drag it out. And that way you just get a little bit more of a like gradual curl versus something so intense. And then another trick too is I kind of just go willy nilly and then whatever strands I haven't curled yet, I'll like go back and do that. But one trick that I learned that helped me is I won't actually do like the very ends of my hair, like I'll leave some out. And then that just helps the hair look like not so curly. Okay, this is what the finished hair looks like and honestly I can kind of keep it like that and it still looks really good But I want a little bit more baying. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Okay for my bangs I'm gonna clip back some of my hair. You only need three things hair dryer water and a little brush And I'm just gonna wet my bangs and then I'm gonna re-dry them I do have a tutorial on how I style my curtain bangs if you guys want to see like a more in-depth blow-up tutorial Okay, this is like pretty bangy, but you can kind of just like play around with it. And this is the finished look. I love the way that the hair actually turned out. And my stylist is Beto. He's the best. He used to be Seattle based, but he's now actually in LA with me. And I posted on Instagram the final cut and some of the inspo pics I showed him if you guys are interested or if you want a separate video on like more in depth on how I style let me know but he added a little bit of like highlights and some color and I feel like it really helps to add some dimension to my hair and this is the finished look I feel like all together it's very fresh and pretty great for every day and I'll go ahead and link all the products down below also wanted to say a big thank you to Ula Henriksen for again sponsoring a part of this video this moisturizer you could see just makes my skin look so fresh and healthy and I didn't have to do that much to the base to achieve this look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll go ahead and link all the products down below, if you pick up this moisturizer and try out the facial massage, let me know how it is and if you guys want to see more videos like this, thumbs up this video and I will be doing a Seattle vlog while I'm here as well. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!